Hey, it's cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the Arkham Megalo. Let's bring up the board. There it is. Uh, so, if we take a look here, um, there's not a whole lot that we can really push through here. Um, the I checked all of the um, all of the Universal Trackers, except for Link to the Past, which the Universal Tracker doesn't work because I have a lot of random stuff. Anyway, uh, I checked all of them, except for Link to the Past, and the only two games that make sense to play right now are Tunic and Kirby, and that might be all we do today. And I'm okay with that. Also, cross code, hang on, the... Sometimes the... This thing is a little tricky here. Uh, cross code is in BK. There we go. I need to probably take a look at that code. Uh, but we're gonna start with Tunic. Um, there's definitely a lot of stuff that is available in Tunic. Um, if I bring up the Universal Tracker here, connect it to slot 5, it's going to not connect, and then I'm going to try again, and there it is. Uh, we've got 5 beneath the fortress, we've got 7 in the East Forest, Four in the Eastern Vault Fortress, a couple in the Far Shore, five in the Forest Bell Tower, uh, four in the Forest Grave Path, five in the Courtyard, one in the East Shortcut, three in the... We have a lot of checks is what I'm trying to say. It's not all in the quarry anymore. So like, this is probably the biggest play outside of Kirby. But Kirby is still like, wide open really. Like, I still, I can probably get to the end of the regular game in Kirby. And, um, there's also all of the stuff that I have left behind. So, still much to do. But for now, we shall be starting with Tunic. And hopefully things update correctly this time. Studio D, please. Thank you. Move some windows around. Make sure the control works. And we shall get started. Oh, I appear to have accidentally thrown a bomb. Oh yeah, we got uh, we got a bunch of uh, of ladders, which is definitely gonna open things up. With a couple of gold questing on. That's two of them so far. And two ladders. Three questing on. Two coins. The real ladders. Oh boy, it's gonna do this now. <laughs> now I'm getting distracted by this animation trying to happen. There we go. Oh, we got prayer. That is not prayer, that is bomb. Yeah, that's going to open up some things, isn't it? In fact, what a good place to open up some things now. Oh. Still no sword, though.
pray long enough? Oh, just barely. Uh, can I go down here? Not yet. Hoping to destroy a little more than just a couple of dudes. But at least I got those couple of dudes. Oh, I died here at some point? Okay. Huh, I haven't opened that up. Probably because of those crows that want to peck my face off. That's how to deal with problems. Oh, that's another problem. Trying to come up with some transactions here that, that are gonna give me more uh, more magic than I end up spending. So if I had to guess, then I, like I'm I'm gonna say that I probably. I might not get my abilities from the manual in uh, questing on mode. In gold questing on mode, rather. Because I think I also got. Uh, what was that? Right, Ice Bolt. Ice Bolt wasn't unlocked from the manual, which is supposed to be. Well, in Rando, it's supposed to be. Oh, this might be a problem, though. That's how many shots do you take? Like seven. Oh, and I just drew another one. I feel like I might want to be using the card that restores magic instead of uh, badges. Because I don't know if I have it. I probably don't have time to do this. Oh yes, I did. I am surprised I managed to finish that prayer. Okay, now that I'm not in danger, I only have two cards? I forget what these do. I guess I'm not going to be able to 
drain you for magic. I'm just gonna have to tag the statue. Another day, another color. Okay, which ones have I done? Kind of lost track. I've done north. I haven't done east. I've done south and I've done west. So I just need you east. Unfortunately, this is a land without the hamster dance. Okay. That's all for me. bombs for Samus, which is very good. She uh, uses a lot of those. Eternal Brooch is... Uh... Oh, there's a ladder here. See if we can get an interaction going here. Well, not exactly how I wanted that to go, but it worked out, so I'm okay with that. Uh, how do I get you? Okay, it's not that hard. That's going to be the last check in the Ruined Atoll. Oh, okay, here it is. And this one should be relevant at the very least. Cat Eye Circlet. Uh, yeah, that's not particularly relevant. Oh, there's still... what's that? Oh, the shop, okay. But that leaves the... Um, that leaves this area with no checks at all. And so we will move on to the library. Or doesn't look like I can logically do anything because I don't have the ladder. Got it. There's a couple of checks here in the far shore that I can get. There's this one, which is usually a page, and it is a fire orb for a Lumaeus. And then there is another one over here, possibly. Oh, there we go. It's a spinner trap. Not a big deal. Uh, 
think there is a page here. There is something. Sealed forever. But that is where the end of the game is. I need to bring her the 41 Questagons and that will complete the game. Uh, so we just did the Atoll. There's not really a whole lot open right now. Let's reorder these windows. There might be a lot of wandering, and I'm okay with that. No ladders, though. Can't do anything there. Uh, we still don't have the Holy Cross. But I can activate this. There's still not a whole lot that I can do here, actually. That's probably the Cathedral Dawn, right? No, the Hero's Grave, okay. Yeah, the Hero's Grave is definitely something that I could do. bonus. Okay. And I think that's about all I got here. Uh, we do have enough coins for the well, so I am going to have to remember that next time we see a well. Don't know what the sixth coin reward is, but we will find out. Oh. Out of juice. At the moment, everything else in uh, the swamp area is red. Therefore, we must look elsewhere for answers. Thank you, Fridge, for cooperating today. Can I go over there? Ow. Actually, let's see. I can't do Ice Bolt yet, actually, because um, I don't have the Ice Dagger, which is kind of an important part of doing Ice Bolt. 
It is 50% ice and 50% bolt. Means I think I'm stuck here. That's okay. I am trying to look here and figure out where I can go. Oh, I don't think I had this ladder before. Oh, wait, no, this is one of the ladders that I'm not supposed to have. Same as that ladder there. Eh, I probably do need to... Check my posture, because I was kind of slumping. Slumping in concentration. I press the bomb button again. Now I'm gonna tag the statue, and that should make any any ladders that I should not have disappear. I should check to see if there's like a version 3.1.2. I could use that version at the very least if it exists. Maybe it fixes some of the problems with ladders appearing where they should not. But see, I don't have that ladder anymore. Yeah, I'm not really sure, because there's a couple of checks to the east here that I do have access to. But I don't know how. And sometimes the answer is behind a tree. It's a 3.2.4, but no 3.1.2. probably just keep on this version then. Uh, I am supposed to have access as well to the forest fortress. Also sealed forever. Yeah, like I have access to some places, but I'm not really sure how to get to them. Let's garden beneath the earth. Eastern vault, yeah. Not at all. Bob's domain is not accessible. Oh, so I can get 3.2.4 and it'll work fine with my 3.1.1 or whatever it is. Good to know. I will need to do that. Bunch of stuff in the quarry. Ziggurat is yellow. Well, thanks for, thanks for looking into that for me. Or a 
Core 1 seems like it's compatible, but does break uh, entrance rando, I assume you mean? Which I'm not using. I, I still would not update major versions while I'm still doing this. Oh god dang it, I am spending all of my bonds. I'm gonna put the coins on that so that I don't keep spending my bombs like a doofus. This is a new water. This might get me to places. Maybe. Hey, buddy. I don't really need to worry about that chest uh, at the end of this uh, little area here because uh, if it's a green chest then it's not going to be something of great importance. Something back here, is it? Yeah, I'm not really sure what my access point is to the Eastern Fortress or just East Forest. And this just goes. This path just takes me to the quarry. I'm gonna go to the quarry though. Um, if nothing else, now that I have prayer, I can actually. open up a couple of uh, monoliths. Um, the fence would be nice. I don't really need more SP. I could do with more... Ah, uh, no. SP is... yeah, that's stamina. I could do with more MP, but I don't have an offering, so... I'll take the defense, though. There is a hero shrine in the back of this place. Might be a little painful though. Because I don't have the mask. Ah, can't catch me. What is that? Oh, it's a card. 
the peril ring, I think. Increased defense at low health. I guess I could have just taken the back way. Oh well. Still made it through. I can still just come back here to restore my health. be a bug. There's still a bunch of checks here that I can get. I feel like a lot of the problem is I don't know exactly where they are, but here's one of them. The star coins. I can at least check the tracker and that'll give me a hint. Boomy? That's not much of a hint. I know there's a thing that Elia uses sometimes that like takes her back to the um, the statue at uh, in front of the seal temple. I don't know if that is something that comes with the randomizer or if that's an additional plugin. Jewel, hello. How are you doing? That was not good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm always happy to see you around, Jewel. Oh boy, everyone's angry at me now. Yeah, the problem continues to be like 
I am currently mostly defenseless. Change games? Oh boy. Yeah, one that hasn't been 30 minutes. And uh, two, there's not really much that I can change to, to be honest. Like I said, it's right now it's either this or Kirby. Everything else has like at most a couple of checks. Now here's one. Has a tank. I do not have a sword. And that that makes being uh, in the quarry very spooky. Especially since I'm kind of out of magic juice here. Alright, uh... Uh... This is not the time to run out of stamina. Okay. A grim and shrouded future. I am quite annoyed at the fact that, like, the the tracker tells me there's all of these things that I can do, and I don't know how to do them. Well, for one thing, I didn't see this ladder here before. That should take me inside of the, uh, the sealed temple. We can get this. Or cake. And there should be a page down here. I think. Cool. Hey, Scipio, how you doing? We are indeed playing Fox game, and I am indeed not having any idea how to do the things that uh, my various resources tell me that I can do. Ah yes, the golden path. And you, you did help out with that, Jewel. I do remember that. So yeah, my my big um, my big obstacle right now is I'm supposed to be able to get to the um, to the east forest as well as the eastern fortress of uh, vault slash fortress. But I don't know where the entrances are for these things that I have access to. I'm 
Juve, ó. And just as a refresher of uh, what I have available here, a Waddle D, another Waddle D, and an Opal. I think this is the other. No. Oh, I can buy 40 monies for 300 monies. Great. I should probably get more bombs though. So yeah, I know I can get up there. I don't know if this means anything. Because I can't get there. I can hydrate. Uh, Scipio, yes, I will accept help. Because I really don't know. I oh, I do indeed have prayer unlocked. I mean I've been to the far shore, but like I I, I am stuck here. There's only two things that are uh, well three things that are open. His knees force is that open from the start? Wait, I don't have access. This, yeah, this is why I need to update my randomizer, because this ladder should not be here. You know what, though? The ladder shouldn't be there. But I still have logical access to this place, so I'm just going to take the ladder for once. Oh jeez. I'm going to take this path to the far shore. It seems a lot safer. Uh, let's see. East Forest. Oh, right. It's over here. that in yellow? Oh, that's because the, the pad is yellow. You big dummy. Thank you for the for the push, Scipio. I did not think that there was uh, that broken path there. Ah! Big head mode activate. Oh, I bet. Like, there, there's a lot of, like, it doesn't help that there's just a lot of hidden paths everywhere. Five levels of Dark Knight.
But like the the way that Andrew made this game, like he wanted to reward exploration. Oh, reflect shield. What am I have to do? Uh, where am I? Oh, that took me to the to the other side of this gate that's closed. It's fine. It's open now. Oh, this ain't gonna end well. This makes me think of the couple of times that I need to deal with you. Makes me think of the, the couple of times that I uh, that I dealt with uh, cross world insanity um, entrance rando in uh, Link to the Past. That sure is an experience. I definitely do not need that chest, but do I want it? Absolutely. There we go. Circuit charge. Uh, the the one that I'm talking about in uh, Link to the Past is the one where um, the way you come in is not necessarily the way you go out. So like, I think it only applies to like connectors, but they connect to the wrong things. And that definitely is an experience. Okay, you're stuck. I have plenty of time. Now decoupled as an AP world is a nightmare. I think I'll pass, but thank you. <laughs> I have a hard enough time navigating this normal game. Direction pairs. What does that mean? North always, but oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, I can see that making it at least a little more tolerable. All right, let's see what our six coin check is, Max Aura. Don't mind me getting lost again, it's fine. Let's see, where is... There it is. Green chest, vivid water. Uh, which one is slot 7 crosscode? I 
think that's everything that I can get back here. There's one more check that I can get here. Above save point obscured. I'm only a little lost. It's fine. Not all who wander are completely baffled about where to go. And you're at above save point. Tiny, very lost fox. There it is. Zircon. Actually, before I take this on, I should probably refresh again. So I can deal with all these guys. Alright, sounds good, Benny. I will still be going for another three hours. I've already been here. So yeah, there are... Still not 30 minutes. There's still only two games that I can really play, so like if I switch to this, I, it's, it's probably gonna be Kirby. Where, oh where do I go? Oh, um... I need to get down there. Like, I know where I want to go, it's just a matter of how do I get to where I want. And the answer is probably less complicated than I think it is. Yeah, it sure is. But... This ladder is closed. I'm looking at the, the lines, uh, like the connecting lines here on the tracker, and I think there's another way to go, and that's where it's expecting me to come in from. And it is, in fact, through here. Over here. That takes care of that problem. I'd rather just deal with the problem if I can. <laughs> Sandwich.
Okay, I can use something that is not the sword. Star of Black, yeah. That is the weapon doubler. Also, I just realized, um, it's been more than 30 minutes, so it should not have refused that switch. I don't know why it did. And the fact is, there there's just a lot of stuff that is kind of hard to test without actually being live. Now the timer isn't set to zero because like it bases itself on the running timer that you see on your screen right now. Like it, it keeps track of when the last split was and tries to count 30 minutes from there, but obviously it's failing at that. I feel like part of the issue as well is that like Sammy doesn't use like an actual programming language. Mm, excuse me. It's like a, a visual programming thing. Time worn belt, I think that's gear. Ringo Gym. Yeah, I I uh, I learned about Sammy through uh, Lolo de Puzzle. It was like he had started uh, doing some things with Sammy on his stream. Might be saying their stream. Uh, I I think him is still correct. Um, but yeah, uh, he was starting to use that on his stream and. Uh, I started to kind of poke around with that on my end as well, and uh, a lot of bu a uh, bunch of stuff done. It is not always stable, as uh, people who have watched the Archimegalo so far can attest. Okay, and that takes me over here, and then. And that allows me to get the checks over here. Uh, but there was another one that I learned about uh, recently called Cruise Control. K-R-U-I-Z Control. Which I think is still kind of pseudocode-ish. But it's actually like you type in the code. The, uh, the Knot Shop. The Reflect Shield Upgrade. For free! And uh, finally, there's this over here. 
three bombs for Mifa. Actually, there's still one more check. Just above Patrol Cave, behind Blue Rootlings. completely lost track of how I got here in the first place. There we go. This way. Because this is patrol cave, right? So, wait. So there's a chest behind Patrol Cave? Where? Uh, above Patrol Cave. Oh, probably from up there. All right, well, I can't get there from here. Right now, the better bet is to... Um, do stuff around here. That ain't it. Camera, please. Nope, that is still the shop. Oh, that's how I get over here. So, most of this is in logic, none of this is going to be pleasant. Let's start with here. Ether for slot four. Get over there. Okay. Oh, ladder to frogs domain. All right. bit wasteful, but uh, I think that's the only way that I'm going to get this done currently. Five levels of warrior. Just what I needed. By which I mean not at all. Another chest around here? Yeah, okay. Very large ember. That one will not require. Uh, that one will require not bombs in 051. Okay, so then doing doing it with bombs would be doing it out of logic, is what you're saying. Gotcha. Um. That was a green chest anyway. You can still do it, but... Oh, 
It would be in logic to do with Magic Dagger. Yeah, that makes sense. Just as long as you know to do it with the Magic Dagger. I'm not really sure why it kicked me to the other side of that, but I am happy with that. Oh, I am on fire. Okay, now I should be able to get that other chest that was on top. Yeah, there we go. Here's the grapes, and here's the wrath. Not the gun because it takes four shots with a gun, which is which is way too much mana. Yeah, definitely. I'm surprised I didn't pull anything there. Another chest down there. It's green though, which means I shouldn't get too excited. Yeah, chaos rose. Uh, that is... No, it is lit up. Okay. I thought it was... I thought it was unpowered. Okay, this one's definitely supposed to be unpowered, so this is a random thing for sure. Hey, buddy. Even though that one is just broken all the time. In game option, turn on all save points. Fair enough. I feel like a lot of uh, a lot of the process around this is based on it would be funny, and you know what? <laughs> I support that. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pray long enough. Yeah, no. Didn't even need to shoot. The problem's gonna take care of itself. Because Rando has that one hallway from the special safe file. <laughs> Although I, I feel like a lot of the ethos in general for uh, for Archipelago is based on wouldn't it be funny if... I mean, just starting with the very first decision that created Archipelago, wouldn't it be funny if you could mix Link to the Past with Factorio?
I do enjoy manipulating things so that the problem can solve itself. However, I'm not really sure where to go from here. Ow. There we go. Uh, you should have seen a few, uh, a few sessions ago where, uh, oh geez, there are more spiders back there. Like, I just had what felt like at least half of the enemies in the Ruined Atoll chasing me. And all of a sudden, and I did very little, like, to make this happen, but all of a sudden, nothing was chasing me. Crab rave. Oh, it wasn't about getting stuck. It was about just the problem annihilated itself. Right now I'm trying to figure out like where Cause there's a couple of checks here but like I don't even know if I can get them. And I think the answer is I can't. of the waterfall room. There is a check here. There we go. Memory of a distant world. I'm, uh, I can definitely use more of those. Cause I think if, uh, if I can manage to get all of the memories. Okay, I, I see my path now. Oh my goodness. If I can manage to get all my memories before anything else, then I can release Final Fantasy XIV and that's going to be a load of checks. Okay, that's everything here. I think I have 13 memories. I need 20. Yeah, Joel, I'm, I am... I Didn't you see me do Final Fantasy XIV for, for, uh, for this already? And if you didn't, that's fine. But that is one of the games that I'm playing. And uh, the goal for that is there's an item called memory of a distant uh, of a distant land and I need to get 20 of those and once I get 20 I win yes it is the online one and uh, like that's that's one of the manual worlds because I have two manual worlds where I have to like do th like 
basically I um, the I have a, a tracker that tells me the things that uh, I have no idea where I am. Was I out of bounds just now? Nope, I didn't want to do that. It's fine that I did, but... Yeah, I must have been out of bounds. That was, that was weird. Oh, but there is a bombable wall here. This looks bombable, right? Okay, that is everything that I can do in the uh, forest fortress right now. I might be able to clinch that so I can come in easier next time. Anyway, uh, yeah, so a manual world is you have a manual client, it tells you where you're allowed to go. So you do the things that it tells you you're allowed to do, and then you tell the manual client that you've done it. And then it sends items and uh, updates the logic. It sounds complicated. It is kind of, but it's still not as bad as it could possibly be. I'm sure I was up there before, right? Yeah, I was up there before because I got that chest on top. I don't remember... Oh my goodness. I am terrible at navigating. Oh, that's that. Oh, over here. There we go. See if I have enough time to do this. Now yep, I am gonna need to deal with these guys. I'm stuck! Because I can't get out of here without dashing, and I can't dash. There we go. There, now they're on fire. Now I should be able to do this. There we go. Now the drawbridge is open. So anyway, in Final Fantasy XIV specifically, uh, the checks are, uh, well, they can be a, a number of different things, but the ones that I have enabled are uh, five fates per zone, uh, as well as any dungeon that does not require a full party or an alliance party. Oh, jeez, I just wasted a bomb. I keep mixing up my buttons. I have that ladder. Yeah, you could do it for, for a while. In fact, 
uh, since WoW allows you to have plugins. Uh, actually, no, I don't know if you could have a plugin for uh, that would just directly interact with WoW. The reason being, I don't think, at least from what I remember, uh, it doesn't let you write files. Like, you can't write a new file or, like, read external files or, like, communicate outside of World of Warcraft. A check mark add on? What's that? I think the only way to uh, archipelago could generate the uh, generate the archipelago and do stuff in the chat. Like the thing is, like I'm not really sure how you would have it communicate with anything. Because like it, if it can't create files. Like, at the very minimum, create files that can be, like, read outside of Archipelago. Like, uh, like, if you can read and write files, then you can write a connector so it doesn't need to be a manual. But if you can't do that, then it would just have to be a manual. So I got a pretty good chunk of stuff, but I didn't get anything groundbreaking. But I do have access to the frog's domain now. So let's go back to the Ruined Atoll. Which I think is this one. Get there that way. And according to the tracker, I should be able to just get everything here. Which once again is still kind of terrifying given that I don't have a sword. That's a green check. But I should be able to get it pretty easily. Well, that looks important. Next major feature PR. Hopefully it emerges the combat logic option.
Uh, not sure what that entails, but uh, key to Chris Kaya. Also, I still need to take a look at those pull requests for Meredith, because like, I don't want the I don't want those to end up sitting for like a year and a half before they get merged. I just have been kind of tired, especially with this whole body itch that won't go away. Barring vaguely what you would normally have in vanilla in terms of assassin equipment, that would be good. Yeah. Because right now I'm just kind of having to find quote unquote creative solutions. Ah. Got it. Five levels a monk, don't care. Crystals. Also, don't really care. Sword of Mirrors. Which one is slot 8? Astalon. That might be useful. I'm not familiar enough with the logic of Astalon to say if it is or not. Let's try to bunch them up a little more. That did not kill anything. Oh, this might though. Oh jeez. Provided that it doesn't also kill me. I mean, it can definitely be fun, but I, um, where is it? I already have this on. Life vessel. Let's see. Oh, jeez. This is an incorrect path that I'm taking right now. But maybe... Oi! I can see what's in here. Progressive shield. Useful, but not progression. Um, side room grapple secret. It's not this way.
Yeah, I actually just put it put in a uh, little bit of a logic patch myself, um, which really I should have thought of before, but uh, it also kind of made sense. And I was kind of worried that like, uh, is this going to be a huge thing to fix? Except no, it really isn't. Uh, it was to do with bumper stickers, um, which I, I believe you have reviewed that actually, so I don't need to explain it to you. But for anyone else, uh, the because um, you do require to have all of the hazard bumpers to actually finish the game, but the multi-world didn't know that. Because like the way I think what was going through my head was that once you have the um, the bonus bumpers and the treasure bumpers, you can get to the end of the game. But it didn't occur to me that putting the hazard bumpers as part of the completion goal will allow progression balancing to pull those forward. Which I think was the, the nature of the logic bug, if I understand correctly. So like, they would have gotten them eventually, but not within a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, there's one more. It's in the slore room. I'm trying to remember where that is. This ain't it. Oh dear. Oh yeah, it could create an issue with minimal. Yeah, I see what you're see what you're saying. See, I I have never used minimal, so like this is not a thing that was in my mind. You know, where is the Slorm room? Like that that's the last thing here and I don't want to uh I don't want to orphan it if I don't have to. Okay, so the uh, God of Shrine is there. So I think the Snore Moon is over here. Yeah. Rude. Nope, that's just a preview. over here. I think it, it's close to the big golden door. Yeah, and there's this opening over here. That's where it is. Okay.
Five levels of Dancer. Yeah, uh, there's this. I don't know what this applies to, is the thing. Even if I don't have the, um, the Holy Cross? Okay. Screenshot. That's neat. I don't know what it means. I'm looking. Not seeing what you're uh, what you're referring to. Should I have a cape? Well, maybe if I reload. All right, let's get out of here. That is not out of here. This is version 3.1.1, which uh, I only realized during this stream that I could safely update the 3.2.4. Oh, which archipelago version? Uh, 050. I think there there was a problem with like if I had entrance rando then that might cause some issues uh, with uh, version 4 but I'm not using entrance rando okay well that is all of the frog's domain So there's four things in the shop that I don't need. There's one thing beneath the well. There's one thing still in the East Forest, which is apparently behind a bomb the wall, which I could absolutely have done, but didn't know to. Uh, one in the guardhouse, too. There's one hero's grave I haven't been to. Uh, one in the overworld, I know where it is, but still kind of fussy to get there. One in the West Garden and then still six in the quarry and I'm still really not comfortable doing the quarry without a sword. But uh, all in all, that is some good progress for Tunic. Um, one last check to see if there's any offerings. Ah, uh, there's Potion offering. Ah, I'm good. Uh, the thing is, Grim, there could be a sword anywhere. The only place that I know that there is a sword is 
behind the Holy Cross, and the only like the only way that I'm going to be able to get to it is by getting more questagons. There's also three more swords in other places, but I'm a bit fussy about using hints. Uh, but anyway, um, I think that's gonna do it for tunic for now. So it's going to be break time, so y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes we shall come back and I think uh, what we're going to do is play some more Kirby, because that uh, definitely has the largest collection of checks that I know that I can still get. Uh, we're probably going to be doing Kirby at least once a stream for a while. Because, like, that's, there's so many checks there. So many checks. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>